All right, let's go do the unban requests. We have 15 requests, and the most long ago one was from three weeks ago. So they've been waiting in Exodus for that long. Least I can do is take a little look at it and see if they deserve to come back. Who has done very well, and I'm very proud of them. And for whom will this be a good opportunity to learn? This might be the final look that I have for a while at Dota 2 Chatters. Since I'm not streaming Dota 2 anymore, this will be, in a way, a kind of symbolic goodbye to some of the behavior that I don't really like to tolerate in my Twitch chat. And that we pretty much never have to deal with, except during my brief one year, one year, eight month stint in Dota 2. So it is a partial goodbye, and that makes me actually sad, because there was a lot of good. There was also a lot of good chatters. But yeah, let's go take a look at this and uh, see who we can allow to watch non-Dota content. Without further ado, let's jump in. Vivi banned this person four years, uh, five years ago. Uh, Vivi, why? Why did you do this? Non-subs are only allowed to send Twitch clips. You banned him. And uh, this is like some advertisement by someone else. Why banned me? And do, you, do you remember why you did this? Because I wanted to. Ah, now we see the violence inherent in the system. I am going to check his chat log. Okay, so he never contributed, right? All he did was join chat and then he promoted some Twitch link. I could click it. I am going to click it, but I'm not going to show it or he will have won. It's no longer available. It's an account with 13 followers called Blue Eyed Fox. Blue Eyed Fox streams Mobile Legends Bang Bang. They last streamed five years ago. So the promoting then did not pay off uh, perhaps if i had not banned that person if vivi had not banned that person the viral marketing campaign through spamming streams would have helped and they would have actually kept streaming so i basically killed this poor person's career vivi destroyed their career it's not easy as a new young streamer and you took away their chance now i'll take away your chance to moderate in my chat vivi <laughs> Uh, why banned me? Well, that's not... I mean... Five years later, he still wants to watch my stream. Even though he transgressed, I feel like he should be out of the dog na doghouse now. You posted nothing except a link to another Twitch channel. We felt very threatened by that channel poaching all our viewers. We did what we had to do to protect our place in this competitive scene. Promise not to do it again and we'll consider... Promise not to do it again, please. Thank you. All right. If any of you get stolen as a viewer by this channel, and that channel ends up popping off and dominating me with their Mobile Legends Bang Bang content, I will remember this moment as the moment I failed to steal my heart, to do what I need to do to stamp out the competition. And I'll never live down this moment. I'm a mod there now. <laughs> okay, Vivi. <laughs> okay. Play like a god, everyone's your friend. Do you lie that it looks good or say that it looks bad? You c can just come to my game, climb to Immortal in a few years, and leave like you didn't love the game. It's hurting the people that have played for 10 plus years and still in MMR hell. Oh shit, it's you that are toxic. <laughs> I see some gatekeeper here. Gatekeeping here. Come to my game. You know, if someone plays Warcraft 3, I never feel like they're playing my game or that their experience needs to somehow correlate to mine. Of course, I see Warcraft 3 as my game, but it's also your game. You have your own unique experience. Uh, leave like you didn't love it. It's hurting people that have played. Oh, there's some kind of triangle love thing here that I'd love to dig in in my alternative universe reality where I'm a therapist. But this is not that universe. I am not a therapist and I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole. It's you that are toxic. Of course, I'm going to just ban that right away. Look. He didn't give any reasons. I recall you said that you lose motivation. Sure. 
and you don't want to win if there's a toxic player in your team sure that is griefing well i don't start throwing on purpose it reduces my motivation that is not griefing that is human nature that is emotions if there's a toxic player on my team that seems to want to lose and starts abusing their abilities in unproductive ways going afk or hogging support items and not using them while flaming allies i see that as griefing and that reduces my motivation and my trust for a good outcome that's not griefing that's emotions i said th that it is toxic so it is toxic for me to lose hope when i'm i'm in a boat and people start poking holes in the boat and then i say i think we're more likely to sink and in fact i'm not sure it still matters that i steer this ship because you're poking holes in the boat i'm not sure it still matters i'll still do it but i don't think i'll do it as well as when we're all singing sea shanties together and no one is poking holes in the boat i think i'll do better i find that a more motivating encouraging environment and i perform better in that environment now i'm the griefer because i don't have as much hope anymore as before so i'm the toxic one not the ones that are poking holes in the boat i'm trying to cover some of the holes right but they're not the toxic one i am even though i stand by what i wrote even though aren't necessarily the ones who started it you can still be the one to end it and ignore or mute there's actually a story about this in um uh, let's say social therapy and it's a little story and it's also about a boat you see you can have a problematic toxic person you can call them a uh, a narcissist and you can have a narcissist in a group of family or friends that is making everything dramatic making everything about themselves causing interpersonal problems and drama uh you know lying and so on and just like souring the atmosphere for everyone you can call this rocking the boat to live with such a person in close vicinity you have to try and steady the boat because by steadying it you can make it feel like everything is still normal steadying the boat is things like absorbing their outbursts absorbing their abusive behavior covering for their lies and pretending everything is normal to live with such a person you have to adopt steadying boat behaviors because otherwise you'll constantly be in clash and that gives you emotional turmoil and chaos and they're never going to say they're wrong because they're a narcissist right so usually narcissists are surrounded by professional boat steadiers what happens when you stop steadying the boat it starts rocking again it starts being at risk of sinking what do all the boat steadiers say do they say hey uh bo boat rocker narcissist can you stop no because you'll become the target of all their vitriol all their hatred all their criticism all their gaslighting etc no they say hey you stop boat steadying we need everybody on this boat to steady the boat because otherwise it starts rocking and i'm noticing you're stopping the boat steadying in fact you're getting a life raft and you're getting off of this boat we need you here we're all feeling more boat rocking now because you're leaving the boat you're going somewhere else you're causing chaos and drama right but actually you just stopped steadying the boat you stopped compensating for the behavior and uh and that's funny is that none of them are noticing actually the one that's rocking the boat and it's a very strong metaphor that i have found personally to be completely true and so he's saying steady the boat by pretending that the toxic behavior that started everything is not happening by ignoring it by muting it he's saying the toxic person on the team should be compensated for by everyone else and that's exactly the main criticism that people have uh, that fall out of love with the community of, of dota 2 is that you need to learn to be a babysitter a therapist and a boat steadier for every crazy person in the game and by and these are all really important skills to build up when you try to play dota 2 because if you don't study it like i i once said one word and it just set them off and blew them up and then people are like didn't you know that that word was gonna set them off you already know they're toxic like yeah of course i know but i'm not the one that's blowing up
I just refuse to stand for it anymore. I'm going to say something, right? You're being assertive, but you're being fair. Hey, you boat rocker, could you stop rocking the boat? You're not perfect. You're criticizing them a lot, but you're not that perfect yourself. You forgot to do this thing, which isn't it, which is also kind of a big thing. Can we all work together towards a bit greater future? And then they blow up. It's like, oh, wow, but who's blowing up? Am I blowing up or did they blow up, right? So uh, I refuse to stop steadying the boat and he's complaining that I leave the boat. But the real problem is the toxic people that are rocking the boat. Hope you get back into Dota and have the fortitude to ignore trolls. Really recommend spamming Lone Druid, like and Enchantress if you ever decide to get back to Dota. I think he cannot see the dynamic as clear because he's emotionally very close to the game. I understand it. I don't... Um, I don't begrudge him because you need to have gone through particular life experience uh, and work on yourself and see things how they are to recognize. Um, I do think he's wrong. I disagree with him. And I try not to be toxic. It doesn't mean that I'm never toxic uh, or never toxic to anyone, but I try not to be. And I think I sure as hell do a lot more work to try not to be toxic to my teammates than some of the people that I've had on my team. So uh, I do not agree with him and I don't think we'll ever see eye to eye on it. And since he stands by it, I'm also going to stand by it and go with a deny. Watch stream 20 March for explanation. And of course, he's also sad that I quit, which I think is a compliment uh, to, uh, you know, the time we've spent together, uh, the fun we've had together. You're wrong. This is a long time ago. Flex buff chest. <laughs> One, two, one. <laughs> okay. This is a long time ago. We can't look at Dota here. You're wrong. Who won? Hit a hook. Win is won a sti stitious game without hit hitting any hooks because you're bad. I cringe when I look at these messages from seven years ago. I don't even speak in chat anymore. I'm more just curious to see what Grubby is responding to. <laughs> uh cringing at your past self which i do often as well is it is a great indicator of personal growth you're not wrong by the way even now i still win stitches games without winning hooks i play him because people walk into gorge range and it just works it just works just won a game last week. I was bad, but it still works. Welcome back. Next. Okay, banned very recently, 28 February, about almost a month ago. SC1 is dark shit. It was just good for its time. I disagree. Gay parade is like the schizophrenia parade, but just another mental illness. Right, that's a good ban. That's a good ban. I'm sorry for being homophobic in your channel. I guess I'm just too conservative. Please give me a second chance. I promise not to express my conservative views in your channel. I just double checked your chat rules. I ruined them unintentionally. I'm sorry. Wow, tough. By the way, I don't think there's anything wrong with being uh, conservative. I personally am not uh, conservative. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But what I do think uh, is wrong here is to look at the mountains of evidence that being homosexual is a naturally occurring thing uh, in humans and then deny its existence and then uh, do slurs and, 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 and miss yeah, and lies like this. And he believes them and then he goes to say them. I think that's a big issue. You can have conservative opinions without uh, denying the reality of the situation. And yeah. He is equating homophobia to conservativeness, which is also funny because if you are denying the existence of people being gay and having that naturally occur and not like turning gay just because you saw Henry Cavill, why would you describe yourself as homophobic? Because homophobic means afraid of gay or like disapproving of, but that still admits their existence. But he's here saying that it doesn't exist. So I just feel like He's not really um, very sensible, and uh, I'm going to deny it. 
and no explanation given. Yeah, I don't think it's sincere. Pogu? Why is Pogu banned? Name chosen to apply... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> Not good. Boosted 3k ruiner. <laughs> Gravy boosted account. <laughs> Petu shark Gravy. Gravy 3k boosted. It's so obvious. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Ban four. <laughs> Even if I unban him, I don't think he'll come back. Because, uh, you know, he won. I quit proving that I'm 3k. How do peop these people even come up with these boosted arguments? I did everything on stream. Everything on stream. I played off stream very occasionally, maybe maximum 20 games. And I probably won like 12 of them. <laughs> what the fuck, no Dota? 06, the place. What the fuck? No Dota, noob Herald. 1k dog. Back to law and huts with you. F off, I'm famous. Noob Herald, back to HOTS with you. You can't compare Dota to Warcraft because it's 1v1 to 5v5, no comparison. That's such a non sequitur. Or not, how do you say it? Non sequitur? Non sequitur. Something that doesn't follow the thing that preceded it. <laughs> Who asked? This is no relation to this at all. AFK in the back on Chen. How can you fl Oh my god, I fucking remember this guy! I hated him too. I hated him here too. Like, uh, th this is a game where, like, as Chen, I catch, like, five waves on bottom tower. And, uh, I clear, like, five waves. And then my team with, like, no ult cooldowns. I don't have ult. They, they kill, like, one or two. And then they start rushing into tower and they all die. It's like, well, you know, if I'm there, it doesn't change anything. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Because English speaking peoples are trash. Wow. I will miss these guys. Tulit Psychopath. Why is he AFK? Lul. Are you trolling? Okay, we need to go back a little further. Did he play with Sing? Stream with Arteezy? Why is he not last hitting? Why? Playing Slark? Nice. Spell usage so good for the Cubs. What behavior score? Basado. Salary coaching? Why is he AFK? Are you trolling? We need more. We need every single message that Bobby Gold has ever written. Goedenavond. It kind of looks a bit cheap compared to Dota IMO. What, what do you think, Robbie? Did you already watch the most iconic plays in dota history like for example the six million dollar echo slam comment team I feel like this game drains all his energy and positivity that's a rare moment of uh, authenticity from him you real grubby oh no please don't tell me he's getting coached by ee did you watch zayat's nix same with specter please no specter medusa sky i watch matu buy six mangoes toxic god gamer nine too good comment snap Oh, yeah, yeah, poggers. I mean, I don't remember in reference to what I banned his question. Are you trolling? Unban, unban, really? Hi, my question wasn't meant to be toxic or anything like that. Krabby is my most watched stream in 23, and I'm convinced that he's too skilled to play like that Kunkka mid performance. So I was just wondering what happened. I didn't even realize that he was already triggered, and it never ever was my intention to trigger him even more i was completely surprised what happened and it was the first time in eight years of twitch that getting banned happened to me so yeah i'm sorry you used the hair trigger ban are you trolling uh this is uh this year this is nine days ago isn't this the game where i didn't want to play mid but my unranked teammates made me play mid then i went kunka then I lost to, I don't remember which hero, but I lost mid. I was doing my best and uh, the, the we ended up winning the game. I had a putch on my team that started asking me not to continue buying my Daedalus. 
I was going Daedalus because it was my top of ice cream after being heartbroken. I was struggling, so I was like, I'll just fucking go Daedalus then. Then they were like, uh, could you please go Agadim Scepter and BKB? We don't really need Daedalus from you. So I stopped at the Chrysalis. I know exactly which game this is. And then I was very stressed. Uh, we ended up winning anyway. I think we had a Mars on the team. Mars position three or one. And then he said, are you trolling? And I was just like, fire. And the reason that I banned for this is because I'm already... Like, I was already here with my impatience for Dota chatters and backseaters, flamers and teammates. So this is why I have to quit. Because I'm turning into someone that would ban for something relatively innocuous. That's why I have to quit. You caught caught me at a trigger time so I can totally relate to your unban request. Uh, I shouldn't be perming for this and you're unbanned. Cheers. Thanks for the unban request message. It's more coherent than any of you. It, uh, he wrote more words in this, in, in the unbound request, than in everything else he had ever said before. <laughs> I almost went Dota mode. Uh, I almost went full, full toxic. I, I took it away. There is now... <laughs> There's now evidence of grubby boosters with 80% win rate of many games. It's true. It's true. I let Jenkins play on my account. He said they would never find out. And they did find out. And now I'm mad with Jenkins and I quit because he burned my bridges with the game. Now that my boosting has been exposed, it's all Jenkins' fault. I just hope it's a fair climb to 8k. Hopefully no boosters. I think Robbie can definitely make it alone. It's like playing casual tennis with friends on the weekends. You don't expect to win Wimbledon. Please no Meepo, don't want to see it in my games. Ranked is more fun. Switch your brother to Dota if it's the last thing you do. Oh, I think I was playing League with my brother this day. Uh, another brother than what I played Dune with. There's no peak. You are 6.1k. Period. Please use that line for Dotes. Please come with me when I call the game perfectly. Void so broken, the chrono lasts way too long. Report Grubby Griefing. Grubby Griefing. You should argue less and try to play with your team more. In the last game, you should have played more with your team and less complaining about them being toxic. And he repeated it again, even though I saw the first one. You're 6k because you're in the easiest region, which is EU, bunch of Pokemon players. <laughs> is this true? Has anyone else played in different regions? I've seen a lot of people say that EU is the easiest and that Southeast Asia server, I wouldn't even have got out of Herald. I thought EU was the hardest, but I might be wrong. In terms of toxicity, I know Southeast Asia is completely unhinged in different ways, right? More than one, probably, Chief Smash. Thanks. EU is hardest, NA is easiest. I can't believe... I know NA is easier. I tried it myself. I have 100 ping more on NA, and it's much easier to win there at the same MMR. So I know NA is easier. I don't know about Southeast Asia. I was going to try with 300 ping just as like a novelty experience, but uh, this is crazy. And I don't think he would possibly argue that NA is harder. Everyone knows that's wrong, right? Uh, so he's probably from Southeast Asia and thinks that just because it's toxic and everyone's griefing that therefore the skill level is higher at equal MMR. I don't believe it's true. I don't think it is true, but it's probably just completely different. It's It's harder to like play together or something but like is the level higher maybe it could be actually i actually i don't know i'm gonna retract that and i say i don't know thanks for unbanning me yo welcome back bobby gold to the genius chat if grubby played in eu east he would drop 2k mmr minimum well i wouldn't be able to speak <laughs> the language by the way does anyone play there because i see all the russians playing on eu west wait i do play on eu east i do play on eu east I have both East and West on. No? I have two servers on. 
It's pretty much the same pool of player. Everyone has both on. I think there's EU West, EU East, and then there's Russia. But Russia plays on all three. You'll deal with them everywhere. Grubby farming lol. You accuse passive team, yet you AFK. You accuse passive team, yet you AFK. So annoying. I was like, I usually see it already. It's funny that Druid has to make the smoke plays instead of Grubby. What has Dota done to Grubby? He looks miserable. Did they ban hairstylers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wow, it's rude, All right? You know what's funny? I'm gonna say something. My hair down in real life looks pretty fine, but because of the frontal lighting, it always looks like a sweaty mop uh, on stream. Real talk. I'll look downstairs the hair down here like kind of messy or whatever i'm like yeah that looks nice kind of like a normal look and then you go on stream and you see like every gap between the hairs because of the frontal lighting that i have and it just looks like you're balding and sweaty suddenly so uh yeah i had the mop that day and he said this and that was just going too far like you can insult my mood my my happiness you can insult my play but don't touch my hair Unban him and keeping him as a pet. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? mean? I'm gonna put him in a cage? Am I gonna train him? You say you don't enjoy Dota anymore because the community is toxic, but that is not true. Alright. Let that sink in for a bit. Okay. I now have an image of my, my Dota scene that is not toxic. I am going into his delusion. When you reached your MMR ceiling and stopped gaining MMR, all of a sudden, the Dota community is toxic and you stopped enjoying the game. What a coincidence. If you had kept gaining MMR after your ceiling, you would still be addicted to Dota. You only stop because you reached your peak and deep down, you know you won't gain anymore and you're coping now. Also, I just make a joke about your haircut. It's just a joke, but what's the joke though? Jokes are funny. Okay, this is my uh, table of enjoyment versus not enjoyment. Uh, blue is enjoyment and red is non enjoyment. And both of these can be true at the same time. Now this enjoyment is comprised of several different factors. MMR climbing is fun. Great game. Some nice people. Esports, very happening. Personal growth. And the frustration is also comprised Everybody of several happy. factors. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Only Grubby can take a toxic message and make it entertaining with a graph. Goat. Toxic allies and chat. Not climbing MMR. Uh, forced into roles you don't want. No time for other things. Getting angry. So eventually, if you take away this, and you take away this, and some other things, then you move the rest down and suddenly you're realizing you're frustrated more than you're enjoying them yourself. And he's saying this thing was never there. This is this is a lie. This is not true. There's no toxic. It's just because you're no longer climbing MMR. Now you're blaming it on something else. But I'm saying I accept that eventually I won't cl uh, climb MMR, but I hope there's enough of the other things that it's still higher than red. Now, why am I not talking about this? Because I'm generally having a good time. But actually, guess what? I am talking about it. Is this the first surprise that I am occasionally frustrated with toxic allies in chat? Did this come out of nowhere? Is this a gaslight that I created because I am looking for a way to cope, to divert attention away from my lack of MMR growth. No, 
I've always talked about this. I've talked about getting angry. I've talked a lot about getting forced into roles that I don't want. I've talked about toxic allies in chat. It's always been a theme during the Dota streams. Of course, once you start to enjoy other things a little bit less, or, and I know this is hard for this chatter, Asiera, to believe, this thing can also start to loom bigger. It can get bigger. And then eventually it could also outstrip and outsize the blue line, even if the blue line never changed. And that's what he doesn't get. I've seen this argument a lot in the Reddit threads. They're like, oh, no, no, he can't accept not climbing MMR. Then why am I still playing HOTS? I've only gone down in MMR. It's because it's not a toxic scene. Watch 20 March stream to understand. Good night. Weak mind, not made for Dota 2. Go and play easy and chill games. We don't need you. Well, he doesn't. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Andrew bought. <laughs> oh, please, Prince Andrew. Please, Prince Andrew. A very inspiring role model for young men around the world right now that feel lost, that want to learn about love and riches and respect. Prince Andrew, not the other Andrew, please. You proved my point by banning me. This is also a good one. You can say anything you want about someone and then get resigned at your ability to chat in their chat. They have to let it keep happening, no matter how toxic you get. Because if you ban them, then it's proven. So you could go to anyone right now and start calling them weak without repercussions. And by repercussions, I don't mean I'm going to round up a couple of boys and beat him up and dox him. And he's not going to go to jail or get a fine. The only consequence is not being able to chat in my chat, which doesn't seem to be a big deal at all, especially someone you don't respect or like. But still, he felt enough reason to send in an unbanned request because his poor little feelings got hurt and he wanted to come back to my chat or at least have a final word. That doesn't look that strong to me. I feel like that doesn't look like a strong mindset. Maybe uh, maybe this could be a point of introspection for him. Because I know uh, macho behavior and looking strong and cool is very important to Prince Andrew fans. You prove my point by banning me. Go cry with mama child. <laughs> Who is that? Don't mate to play Dota. Delete the game. Trash with... 2k viewers 30 years old <laughs> playing video games all day with soft feelings grow up and do something with your life dog i do every day just today i watched him dig holes in the garden it was great but what is he doing with his life is he an inspirational speaker is he trying to give me pro bono inspirational speaking and life coaching advice for free? I thought that kind of thing cost $50 per month for the special private Discord server for Prince Andrew. And he's giving it to me for free. That's awesome. And I don't even have to pay for it or attend any of the, the Discord seminars where I'm not even really talking to Prince Andrew. Amazing. Am I like going to drive? A special car like Prince Andrew as well and have girls all around me the royal concubines maybe I have time to do that now now that I'm not playing the, the game with very strong-minded people like this man right here all right great great time uh, always a great time and we won't see many of them anymore now which is the sad part <laughs>